Peace and love, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Sheldon, and I help people ascend their consciousness and discover the path to enlightenment. Now, I hope each and every one of you is having a beautiful day. I'm sending everyone a lot of love, a lot of peace, a lot of healing energy once again, guys, and I want to welcome you back to the Great Awakening series. And today I'm talking about how to step in to your true authentic self, how to become who you truly are, how to fi figure out you know, what your purpose is, what your passion, and you know, just really go within and figure out who you truly are and, and, and how to stop identifying with you know, the egoic self. So as we're going through this great awakening, there's a lot of questions that always come up. You know, you start to question your reality. You start to question things around you. You start to question the official narrative. You know, what's going on in the media and, you know, why does it feel like we're always being lied to? Why does it feel like we're being undersold in education? Why does it feel, you know, like this world isn't fair? It really seems like something is controlling this, right? So people are starting to wake up to this reality when they're going through this great awakening. And people are also starting to wake up to the reality that they're so much more powerful than they were led to believe. So I want to talk about how you dive into that power, how you figure out who you truly are, how you figure out what your purpose is. And the way to do that is to go within, is to turn your attention inward. You know, when this great awakening is happening, we might be seeing a lot of things in the exterior and focusing on the exterior and things that are happening in the world and waking up to you know maybe the illusion that was casted over us our whole entire lives but I think it's very important that we start to turn our attention inward and figure out who we truly are because if you really want to see a change in the world it all starts internally it all starts with you you have to be the change that you want to see right once again, your inner world is a reflection of your outer world. Your inner energy is, in a, is a reflection of your outer world. So as you start to change your vibration, your inner energy, you're going to start to experience different realities, different timelines. You're going to start to shift to the most optimal timelines possible, right? So you might be still experiencing these things, but they're not affecting you. We need to turn our attention inward. So there's a lot of people right now that have a lot of questions, that might be a little bit lost, that are trying to figure things out. And if we start to silence the mind and ask the questions, we're gonna receive the answers. This is how it works, right? So if we stop thinking with our five senses, we turn our attention in, we start you know, meditating, being out in nature more, positive affirmations, we're gonna start to raise our vibrational frequency, accessing different levels of information, right? This is where we're going to find out what our true purpose is. You know, as we start to connect, we start to realize who, who we truly are. We start to remember where we came from. We start to remember that, you know, we're an eternal spiritual being having a temporary human experience. And we're here to fulfill a, a very specific purpose. We're here to help the world in a very specific and niche way. Everyone wants to help people, but you know, it's just that niche way that you gotta find that works for you. And that's your passion and your drive and your purpose, right? So in order to find this, it takes a lot of solitude. You know, you might have to sacrifice for a little bit. You might have to, you know, stay in and just be with yourself and you know start meditating start becoming one with yourself start being at the center of your being and asking those questions and being open to receiving those answers because you're going to receive those answers in an abundance of different sources in beautiful ways right they're going to come in synchronicities they're going to come in you know just beautiful divine ways that you never thought were possible and it's gonna blow your mind but you have to be open to these things so if you are looking for those answers you need to go within you know isolate yourself you need to just sit in a period of solitude and you know be with yourself and, and know thyself because it is so important and continue to raise your vibration you know continue to choose more of a healthy lifestyle 
I saw a quote yesterday and it said only a fool doesn't care about his health and that's the truth of it you know that's a completely um, brainwashed society that they wouldn't even care about their health they just consume 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 right and when you do that you you stay on a very low vibrational frequency you stay I, I've, I see this you know I see this I see people that overeat and you know they, they they tend to not have that good of energy it's because of what they're putting in they're not putting in good energy they're not putting in life right they're just overeating and they're killing themselves on the inside so in turn, their outer world is reflecting that and they like to take that out on everyone else. I'm not saying that anyone is better than anyone, everyone's at their perfect time, but we need to start taking care of ourselves consciously. If we wanna realize who we truly are, we need to take care of ourselves, right? Treat yourself like you, like you would wanna be treated. You know, like your body is a temple. You are a king or queen. Just treat yourself as such. And you're going to get the most out of life. You're going to get the most energy. You're going to get the most answers. But it starts with what you consume, the food, the, the, your, your senses, your, what you listen to, what you see. Be out in nature more. You know, meditate, ground, sun gazing, drink high alkaline water, very electric water, not tap water, right? Take care of yourself, guys, and you're going to start to realize who you truly are. You're going to start to wake up to your true essence, which is love, right? Start emanating more love, start helping more people and you're gonna to start to realize who you truly are. So practice solitude, consume the right things, you know, spread love. And slowly but surely, you're gonna to start to wake up to your true nature, to your true calling. You're gonna to start to be drawn in directions that are gonna serve your purpose and you're gonna to start to realize that you're here for a bigger purpose and it gives you a lot of you know, energy and ammunition and joy to continue this journey. You know, It doesn't become a burden anymore, it becomes a, a beautiful journey that you just wanna keep pursuing, you never wanna end, you wanna appreciate every second of life because every second of life, guys, is a blessing. It's an absolute blessing, so we need to appreciate every moment we're in in order to receive better moments in life, right? We need to be grateful every single day, you know? Express gratitude, express love, and you're gonna receive a lot of abundance. You're gonna receive a lot of answers, but just be open to, you know, the questions that you're asking. Be open to receiving those answers because you will receive those answers. So the main message today, guys, is if you are waking up, if you are a part of this great awakening, if you're starting to realize that there's more that meets the eye and you want to know more about yourself, then you need to start isolating yourself. You know, put yourself in a period of solitude. Every legend, every ascended master, Jesus Christ, we're talking about Buddha, we're talking about Krishna, all these people, all these legends, over time, Thoth, Ra, they all isolated themselves for a very you know large period of time you know there's shamans that went deep into the caves and isolated themselves because this is where you find all of the answers in that solitude in that silence in that darkness you find all the answers in life all of creation comes from darkness it's yin and yang fear is an illusion so Go forward and find out who you truly are. Isolate yourself, meditate, spread love, be out in nature, consume the right things, and you're gonna to start to wake up to who you truly are in life, and you're gonna to start to realize what your purpose is, and then watch life unfold in a magical way for you. So, that's all I really wanted to say today, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. If you did, Press that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but for now we'll part ways, so peace, love, and have a glorious day. Woo! And have a beautiful, wonderful, magical awakening. I love you all. Peace and love.